This is another odd concept that I don't see many, if any, talk about. So why don't we? As theme park enthusiasts, we often crave longer opening hours at our British theme parks, and we love our late opening Halloween events. Rides in the Dark are honestly the absolute best, and I think it's high time we started to talk about it more. So to lay the ground rules of this list, as it will be very different to other ranking videos I have done. I'm not looking at ride layouts, theme, or anything that is consistent throughout the year. I'm looking more at the extra things the park does for the ride in the dark, and how well the ride can be experienced in the dark. As always, this is just my opinion, and no doubt some of you will disagree, but instead of disliking the video, please share your favourite rides to experience at night in the comments. Anyway, let's get into the video and count down my top 7 rides to experience at night. At number 7 we have The Swarm. Originally I had this winged coaster in the honourable mentions, but I felt like I was disrespecting the ride by putting it there, so I found another ride and made this video into a top 7 instead of top 5. Aren't you guys lucky? Two extra rides! The Swarm is so much fun at night as the lights in the area are switched off and all you have is the red lights on the train to guide you through the ride. When the fire engine goes off, you are shot with a burst of light, but as quick as it arrives, it's gone. The swarm thrives in the dark as you truly feel like the end is here. I feel isolated and helpless as I climb the lift hill before being thrown into a layout that is even more fun in the dark as you have less warning of the near miss elements. Therefore, you only see them at the last minute, providing a great jump scare effect. Overall, the swarm is in her element at night, and hopefully this year's planned scare zone around the ride for Fright Nights will add to this atmosphere and make the experience even better than it already is. At number 6, we have 13. How often do you see me talk highly of 13? It's very rare, I know! 13 really comes into its own at night. The blackness of the woods and the total lack of light add a new layer to the atmosphere of the ride. There is no change within the ride. The forest has already taken over and it's drawing you ever closer. The only time any light makes its way to the ride area is when you get the flash of the on-ride camera, even if you do end up temporarily blinded. Mm, yeah, I know. I rate 13 both in the light and the dark, but it definitely comes into its own at night. Give this circuit coaster a chance, be it during the day or at night. You will not regret it. I love 13 at night as the fun factor is boosted to an 11 out of 10, something that I rarely get to say about a family oriented ride. Even if that flash is permanently burnt onto my retinas, even after one ride. Ow. At number 5 we have The Smiler. How many of you are shocked to see The Smiler here, both on the list and so low on said list? Be honest, it's alright. Actually that's not alright, I feel kind of bad. We all know how much I adore The Smiler, but I can't realistically rank it much higher than it already is. The marmalizer lights the area up so interestingly and totally adds to the craziness of the ride. But I feel like The Smiler has a greater impact during the day personally. That, that, that's, that's me really. Throughout the ride area there are little details that you'll only notice at night as they simply cannot be seen during the day. The circular lights in the entrance structure was something I only discovered in 2019. That's an example of uh, things that you just don't notice during the day. I also love how blindingly beautiful the on-ride camera is, which is odd as bright flashes and dark evenings are never a good mix. The sheer craziness of the ride is doubled down by the music too even if the trains blend so well into the night sky. Overall, the Smiler is still fun, great at night, but better in the day to be honest. At number 4 we have Saw the Ride. How on earth have I ranked Saw above the Smiler? Oh god. Sorry Saw fans, I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of being rude to you in your ride, but I really don't like Saw. I may completely dislike Saw as a ride, but I can't deny that when it comes to rides in the dark, it's easily one of the best. 
Saw never receives any light into the layout beyond the main drop and second inversion, and that is the best part about it. The park lighting spills into the right area from a distance through the foliage and other items in the way, like Samurai, but it's so weak that it doesn't have any real effect. I cannot deny that the ride is 100% better in the dark, almost find Saw less rough at night and I have no idea why. Would anyone like to help me work out because I'm kind of confused. <laughs> the lack of light pollution onto the first inversion too, that it really just makes it so disorienting and scary, much more so than in the day. Saw is definitely a nighttime ride. It's definitely better in the dark than the light. Weird, I know. And I can't quite believe it myself, as I just really can't enjoy Saw generally. But honestly, I actually find myself quite enjoying Saw, the ride in the dark. Maybe I need to give this ride a little more credit. Calm down, Saw fanboys. I still maintain it's not a top 10 coasters ride. But maybe it's not one of the worst out there. Oh, wow. You know, I never considered that nighttime rides might actually change my opinion on Saw. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens at Fright Nights 2020. At number three, we have Nemesis. If I hadn't experienced the ride I did in 2019, then Nemesis wouldn't have made it onto the list at all. By no means was 2018 bad, it just suffered from too much white light spillage that ruined the effect towers were clearly going for with the blood red lights. But 2019 toned down the white lighting massively and consequently the entirety of the ride and area was either shrouded in darkness or blooming with blood red lighting. Nemesis has a big upside in that its landscape and surrounding area is so tight and close quarters that light doesn't travel to where it's unwanted. This meant that parts of the ride were very dark, and therefore deceptively faster. Additionally, the red lighting allowed for a better off-ride spectacle too. Nemesis genuinely feels even faster in the dark, which makes the ride even more fun than it is in the day. It's hard to say if Nemesis is a better night ride than day ride, but it's definitely more fun in the dark than the light. If that makes sense, good on you, because it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it does make sense, even if it probably doesn't. You can tell I've scripted this at 3am in the morning, can't you? <laughs> at number two, we have Wicker Man. We can't ignore Wicker Man, we just can't. Whether it's bathed in light like opening year 2018, or shrouded in darkness like round two in 2019, Wicker Man is an insane ride in the dark. It's fast, fun, thrilling and exciting, even more so than during the day. Wicker Man does get faster as the day goes on, so making it your last ride at 10pm when you get in that queue for a 9pm close on Scarefest, it's just the best choice you can make. I would 100% queue more for a night ride on Wicker Man than I would for a day ride, and I don't tend to have differing queue time limits for rides. The views within the queue are not impeded by the lack of light, which is amazing and something I truly love. Being able to watch the ride hurtle around corners, crest airtime hills and burst through Big Bob is even more exciting at night. And the fire effects are just something else in the blackness of the night. I truly rate Wicker Man both in the day and at night, but the ride is undeniably better in the dark and seeing as I nearly forgot all about it and didn't even put it on the list. Yeah, I know. I mean, this and, and Swarm is why you have top seven and not a top five. Yeah, I know it's a crime to forget Wicker Man. Again, I scripted this at 2 a.m. in the morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, something like that. I can't even think about it. I'm recording it at 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm very tired. I still do have some honorable mentions though. And today we have three rides. The first is Nemesis Inferno, still lagging behind her older sister, even though at night she's easily one of the most intense experiences out there. The second is Dragon's Fury. At night, 
lit up or shrouded in darkness, Dragon's Fury remains to be a fun and exciting coaster for all the family. The third is Scorpion Express. A small family coaster with smoke effects and no lighting. What do you mean it literally just relies on the light of an exploding oil derrick? Sounds awesome. Count. Me. In. At number one, we have Vampire. I have never, ever understated how good Vampire is in the dark. Regular viewers will know as such, and it's finally time to get some recognition for this world-class ride. Vampire at Night is honestly the best thing at Chessington during Halloween and Christmas. I go to Winter's Tale purely for Vampire and those elusive nighttime rides. I can't lie. I go on about Vampire's glamour and grandeur, but this is present no more than in the dark. The right area has gothic looking lamps and the trees create an eerie atmosphere unmatched by anything else. I certainly enjoyed the ride when the area is dark, but my favourite ever night ride setup for Vampire has to be the pure show that was put on during 2019. The ride area and track was lit up with so many beautiful coloured lights, reds, blues, greens, oranges, pinks, so many colours. I, I loved it. But when required, the ride is very dark too. The tunnel springs to mind from 2019. 2018 was great too, as that tunnel had a smoke machine placed within it and racing light strips placed on the walls that gently lit the tunnel as you flew through it. Add in the ambient sounds that we've all missed so much, and it just makes the ride feel so awesome. Flying over those trees in the dark and not being able to see anything but a blur is so cool. If you are yet to experience Vampire in the dark, make it a priority. You won't regret it. That's a promise. The Vampire. Oh. She strikes at night. I'm fairly certain that many of you will not agree with this ranking, and I'm genuinely sorry if you disagree, especially as this topic is so more subjective than any other. But, as asked before, please don't dislike the video or get upset. Instead, share with me your favourite rides to experience in the dark. I can't wait to see what you guys enjoy.